Today I want to talk to you a little bit about the easiest way to keep your small pet's nails nice and trimmed. And this requires little effort from you. And it's like basically only a one-time thing. So, rocks are awesome. Basically, all you need to do, go out in the backyard, grab yourself a nice... Whoa! My tripod got messed up there. Okay, we're just gonna keep rolling. <laughs> Grab yourself a nice uh, large rock, or small, it doesn't really have to be large, and sanitize it, and you can stick it in your pet's cage. Now, to sanitize your rock, all you really need to do is scrub it with soap and water. Uh, I would recommend letting it soak in like some antibacterial soap for maybe about 20 minutes after it's scrubbed. Rinse it off, um, put it on a pie sheet, and then put it in your oven for about 20 minutes at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. That is just gonna make sure that you kill all the microorganisms and any like fungus or mold or anything like that off of your rocks. And then basically they're ready to put in your cage. So what you do is you move the bedding out of the way Make sure you have a rock with a nice smooth side. Like mine has this side, and maybe that's it. But, um, I thought there was another one. Anyways, all you need is one. You just need one nice smooth side. And move the bedding out of the way, because you never, ever, ever want to put rocks or heavy toys on top of bedding. Your small pet can burrow under them, and they can get crushed. And that would be absolutely horrible. So never, ever, 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 ever put heavy items on top of thick bedding. Or bedding, like rocks, don't put them on top of bedding at all. You can see in my tank over here, I have moved the bedding out of the way, and I have the rocks right there. Basically, that's all you gotta do. Um, a really good thing to do is if you can set it up so that your small pet's food dish is maybe next to a rock, say if it's like a lower, flatter one, um, or if you have a water bottle and you can find a small, flat rock, just like get that, put it underneath the water bottle. If the water bottle leaks, the rock will distribute the water so that it doesn't create a huge puddle in the cage. And it makes it so that your small pet has to go up on the rock in order to drink their water. So basically, that's going to wear their nails down, just like a sharpening stone would wear down like the blade of a knife. It wears down their nails, or like a nail file. And uh, then you never have to trim their nails. It's super great, super awesome. Uh, I don't remember exactly where I learned this from, but there's lots of other YouTube videos that talk about it. But it's wonderful. It's one of my favorite things. They look great inside the cage. They provide something fun to climb on if you get them in different shapes. They're absolutely free. Um, even if you don't have a backyard, you can go to, like, if you have a pretty chill forest preserve, like I do, uh, just head out there, grab some rocks, bring them back home, clean them up, and put them in your cage. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I will... Well, I guess there's nothing <laughs> there's nothing really to link below in this video except for social media handles. So you can follow us on Instagram. You can check out my Etsy shop if you have guinea pigs or if you're interested in uh, liners. Or I also do custom order stuff. So I have like Critter Nation liners. I have CNC cage liners. Um, I'll probably start getting into small pet chew toys at some point soon. So definitely check that out. Uh, Facebook, Twitter and Pinterest. So I'll link all those down in, in, the, uh, in the description below. So anyways, have a good day, you guys. And I hope you look forward to lots more mouse care videos, because those are coming soon.